YouTube, DJ here and Johnny! As you know, we've got some Mexican family members. And nothing more than Mexican family members like to do is yak you yak their yap about how good their beer is, which is their macro lager selection like we have here, Corona Sol and Modelo. And they tell us, my favorite is Sol, or my favorite is Corona, or my favorite is Modelo, and they tell us that they can do what, Johnny? Taste the difference between them, like many Americans can taste the difference between Budweiser, Miller, and Coors. Mm -hmm. So today we're going to see if that can happen. I'm saying no. 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 So, first up, we're going to have my illustrious father-in-law, The Mexican expert. We just brought him across the, the border. The Mexican expert. So we're going to bring him in. We're going to have a taste test. Are you ready to his, his set up, John? Uh, he'll have to leave the room along with you because okay. I'm the one setting him up. So here's the forms. We're going to hit pause for a second here, Pepe will be back, and he'll be the first one up. We're back with our first contestant of the evening. This is Senor Pepe from Merida, Mexico. He enjoys house cleaning. No, just kidding. He won't be our first contestant. He's got his beers in front of him, and you can try. Probably. Okay, uh, now remember guys, the ground rules here, every bottle is clear. So every beer in this rack has the, the opportunity to be skunky. They're all adjunct lagers and macro produced beers, and they're all about the same percent alcohol by volume. So, and as you can see that they're poured in the glasses now, all the same exact tasting glass, and pretty much every beer is the exact same pale, pale urine color. So, listo, listo Pepe? Listo. Ese es un experto en cervezas por toda su vida, uh -huh. tomando las, las mismas chelas, y él puede decirnos Cuál es? And like I said now in, in Spanish, he's an expert in Mexican beer. He's been drinking these his whole life, and he's going to tell us which one is which. Have at it, Pepe. Vamos, Vamos señor. Huele well, lo primero. Usa tus sensos. Got the first one down. He's thinking. Lo caliente. A <laughs> miados. <laughs> He's, he's checking now. He said, let's see now. And they're a little bit warm, but we allowed them to get a little bit warmer so you could, you could actually taste it more than super cold. Hmm. He's checking this one. What could this one be? Vamos a ver si no estoy mal. ¿Qué tan mal estoy? Porque hace mucho que no tomo cerveza. No, la ley no hubiera hecho ese. Sí. ¿Eh? Got a number two for Sol, a number one for Modelo, and number three for Corona. We will check at the end of all our tasting contestants. I have them all in here, so. He is done. We will move on to the next one. Next victim. <laughs> All right, we're back. Contestant number two. We have my lovely Tia Lupita. She is a little longer here in the States, not a heavy drinker at all in Mexico. Likes to dabble with DJ and I, testing them out the beers, but you know, we'll see how she does. So, are you up to the challenge? Yes. All right, go right ahead. <laughs> No flavor at all. Like corona too, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. So is that your final vote? Mm -hmm. All right. 
She has made her uh, cast her ballot, so we're going to be up for the next contestant. See you in a minute. Okay. Adios. All right, we're back with contestant number three. Part of the reason I get in trouble all the time is I'm having a bromance with her husband, <laughs> DJ. Yes. So she brings a little expertise from Mexico, as she probably wasn't a beer drinker back in the day. She wanted to play school. So, uh, are you ready for this beer challenge? Yes, I am. Or is it you're gonna be put on the floor after drinking this beer? Uh, no. No? Excellent. So, look into the camera, smile, and try some beer. Anyone? It's a test. Remember, you cannot fail tests. Nerds don't like to fail tests. She's usually the teacher, not the student. That's right. That's right. No pressure or anything. Bet you they tasted the same. Okay. Hmm. She says as if she knows the difference between each adjunct blogger. Oh yeah, definitely. This one is Modelo. Which is this one. Ah, okay. And then Corona is this one. This Corona. Uh -uh. This one is good. Done. All right. Seems that the teacher has uh, made cast her ballot, so we will see. Okay. The next contestant is coming up, and that's going to be DJ. Huh? Put it, we're back. All right, Mexican macro logger chons, you're going down. I'm picking the right ones. He put his beer geek hat on. Hell yes. He went and rinsed with mouthwash. He did everything to cleanse the palate. I'm ready to go. You know, some Let wine drink crackers. This, this Swill. Swill. All right. Contestant number three. You may know him from DJ's BrewTube. The beer geek himself. And I'm contestant number four. Yeah. He can't counterfeit no more. Did I not, did I count contestant number three? Excellent. Number oh, three and a right. half. Yeah. <laughs> she is shorter. She's a little short, Mike. All right. Here we go. Take it away. Mmm, yummy macro lager. You guys know this is my favorite. I gotta get into my happy place so I can later forget this trauma. <sighs> mm-hmm. Smells like metal and corn and fake carbonation. Metal, corn, and fake carbonation. And this one's a little more sweet than that one. So, and the color, as you guys say, is basically midday urine. Mm hmm And this one smells like nothing. Let's see. Look, doesn't even foam up when you're agitated. Okay, this one's corn and metal and skunk. Mmm. Okay, now to the tasting. As you can tell, for the Mexican mm. beer challenge, he has his pinky held high. <laughs> Anybody got a toothbrush so I can brush my tongue? Oh, please. Yeah, Mexicana, yeah. <laughs> if you guys marry a Mexican, you have, to, you have to learn how to make strong drinks. Drink the tequila first. <laughs> yes, that, that drink the tequila first, that'll brace you for the experience. Then when you learn how to make strong drinks, you can tranquilize them for later. Okay. They are getting better. God, they suck. <laughs> Why did you make me do this? I don't like you no more. We're going to put in a land shark lager. <laughs> that, no, that. no, that's even more heinous because that's freaking Budweiser. But this is all Budweiser product now, too. Yeah, it is. Well, Except for the story. Yeah. yeah. If you guys didn't know, Budweiser bought out Modelo and Corona. Ugh. Mm. Mm. 
Ma tu vuoi essere che? All right, guys. All right, his vote is cast. Tomorrow we, is Mexican elections. Today is Mexican beer elections. That's right. And I guess do I have to finish these? If you want. All right. Uh, look, guys, I'm going to do this for the team. Look, it's got a head now. <laughs> and as you notice, the color has not changed at all. Why? Because it's all exactly the same crap. Oh. Yum. All right. Next contestant, me! We're back, guys. And look, I poured Johnny a nice tall pour since he was so happy in my misery drinking this lovely, fine quality lager beer. Mm hmm. Are you ready to go, big man? Oh, sure. You, I cleared out my bunghole, I cleared out my, uh, you know, bladder, and I'm ready to go. Taste buds warmed up? Taste buds are warmed up. All right, big man, have All right, here we go. I'm going to try this hole first. Oh, look at this. Next level technique. I need it. I need to get this. That's cheating. <laughs> it's actually, it's not cheating, guys, because they all taste the same. What is he doing? As you see, John's other drinking buddy, Keisha, has decided to join him. <laughs> she joined this story in the St. Patrick's Day episode on DJ's Brew Tube, which you can watch on the Epic Beer Nights um, playlist. really do taste the same. <laughs> See that? I mean, that tasted like that one, but that one tasted like that. <laughs> he went for the next level technique, but looks like we're having epic fail on the technique. <laughs> What's the matter? Is each one equally as foul, John? liking that one. Taking deep drinks, guys. Look at this. Nick, I need to go see my dentist. <laughs> Too much corn sugar? Wow, down the whole thing already. Well, it was not be that bad. Mm. What do you think, Keisha? Which one do you like? Anyone you give me? <laughs> the pressure's on. What? You can't see the dog? <laughs> <laughs> which one are, which one do you think this is? I guess you're good. Silence is kill is deafening. Oh, here Johnny goes. Have we got it all written down? Oh, we have photos being taken during the video. Why not? Look, John's face. You know oh. what? I have to say, how did I ever survive drinking this swill, junk, whatever it is? Um, Okay, I used to love it. Now I can use it on beer can chickens. That's what, you get, for, that's what you get for laughing at me? <laughs> um, yeah. You know, I couldn't tell you which one was which. Um, so, we will tabulate the results and we will come back with the winner. See you in a bit. Hey there, BrewTube. We're back. That's right. Now, you notice we've got three bottles here, almost empty, but they probably film one disgusting macro lager beer. I know you all are going to trash on me because I'm ripping on macro lager, but I just can't stand it anymore. My palate's adjusted to the point where, you know, you want to call me a wimp, call me a beer snob. We Go repented ahead. today. Repented, yeah. 14% alcohol by volume, and that was from Two Claw Brewing, and I tell you, that was the bomb. This is, this is like somebody dropped a bomb. <laughs> <laughs> so, why do we have said pint glass here? Whoever's got the lowest score, it's got to chug the entire pint glass of all these free, three quality loggers mixed into one glass. Mm -hmm. All right, so here we go. And hey, uh, excuse me, interpreter, do me a favor and explain the rules in Spanish for our Spanish listeners. Which rules? The fact that you have to drink all three in one glass. Ah, el que pierda. Uh-huh. El que 
Speak up. Please Come step on. up behind the camera. Yes. Okay, el que haya tenido la menor calificación va a poner las tres cervezas juntas en este vaso y se lo va a tener que tomar todito. Which mm -hmm. he said. Uh huh. <laughs> All right. And these aren't cold, so you can actually <laughs> taste the. The <laughs> oh. All right. Coming in. Really bad. Me. Thirty-three <laughs> percent. Show me your score there, Johnny. What are nice score sheets? Let's see. I got the Modelo right, uh, which I think basically tasted like nothing from what I remember. And you know, if I hadn't changed the soul, which I originally wrote down as one, which I just tasted, I would have won. Okay. Excuses, excuses. Our Tia Lupita. She got 33% as well. One of three. Oh. She knows what a Corona is, and that's probably the only beer she's ever drank from Mexico. <laughs> Even though she's from Mexico. And next, we've got our beer geek. 33%. <laughs> Dude, 33%. He got the soul, which was number one in his category. That's what I drink all the time. That, yeah, that's I, I know that one. Pretty sad, isn't it? We've got two perfect scores. We got the non-drinking Mexican and the drinking Mexican. The one that really drank Coke all his life and not beer and uh -huh. smoked cigarettes. <laughs> and I think ate Oreo cookies. Yes, lots of them. But, so, here we go. Maite and Pepe both score 100%. Oh, damn. Oh, we have a that new was... beer geek in Maite. <laughs> or at least macro lager geek. So, Wait. come on in. Because we have a two big losers. You oh, wait, she's got oh, a drink. Got three losers. She has to drive home, so you two she, are the dog not can drink. Share no, you know what? We should change the rules that the, the expert gets a drink at all. So, <laughs> no. Oh, yeah. No, no. <laughs> Do you want ice? No, no. I'm, oh, look at that head. I, I like things that give me head, but not, not beer like that. Ugh. <laughs> Oh. No, that wasn't worthy of a good burp. It was. It was. Oh, no. So which one did you get right? As I said before, if you believe me or not, Modelo is the best. That's great. Well, um. <laughs> my turn. Your, Your turn. Why? You like my Mexican mustache? <laughs> Beer Geek did it faster. <laughs> yeah, but I have a mustache. <laughs> All right. So this concludes the first Mexican and probably many more beer challenges that we're hopefully going to do uh, <clears throat> over the course of however long we are alive and able to with hold down our beer Dude. and whenever our hey, liver's hey, going to kick it. out. Can we go drink some good beer now? Oh, do you have one for... Oh, we have a me Mexican in the fridge. And it's not really a real Mexican, but, you know, no, a no, beer. No, we keep them outside. Um, <laughs> but you know what? You're right. Probably this is the one that I drink the most. Yeah, and see, she's interrupting the video, but that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. <all right. laughs> we'll still let her come over and feed her and yeah, stuff. That's yeah. all right. So... <sighs> We will be drinking a Mexican beer later on, in which we will have a review. A new artisanal... Menudade. Calavera. Beer from Mexico. Mexican and, Imperial style. Yes. And so, until that time, oh, from oh. DJ's Brewtube, same bat time, same bat station, or same beer time, same beer station, I'm Johnny. And I'm DJ. And we're done. Peace out.